you would rent a bike from one station, drive it to another, return it at that station. And rather than driving around campus, you would be biking. So we do it on campus what, and in the surrounding community. What fuel are you using? Electric? No. <laughs> Your fuels. <laughs> it's a bicycle. Oh, that's better, yet. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I was at the University of Texas the other day, and I said, I have a natural gas car, and I said, I fuel it at home. I said, it is a commuter car. And I get the HOV lane with single occupancy. And I said, I drive that uh, back and forth to work. And I said, it has one weakness to it. I said, that my, as a commuter car, I said, I actually live less than one mile from my office. Some guy in the back said, hell, why don't you just walk? <laughs> <laughs> it works for the bicycle. Right, and we've seen, there's, we did a survey of students, there's 58% of students on campus who live within less than a 10 minute commute from campus, so a system like this is hugely, hey, has a is huge it, impact. Have you put it in operation yet? Yeah, we have a beta system launched with 12 bikes and about Does 100 it users. Is it working? It totally works. <laughs> and we've had tons of support from the students on campus, Good. SGA, we have some members here who I know have supported us. but. We haven't, we just have pushback from the administration and we haven't found investors and we're kind of stuck, so. I like the idea. Yeah, and let me tell you, my daughter's sitting right there and she went to SMU in Dallas. If you had had that installed at SMU in Dallas, I would not have gotten her a car. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.